Right, here we are again, folks. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a little modification on the inside of this Vauxhall Vivaro. And what we're doing today is, if you remember a few videos back, I actually put my own aftermarket stereo in this uh, van with the hands-free, which connects to my mobile phone and everything. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be uprating the front door speakers because obviously we've got the uprated stereo now. These um, factory door speakers, they're not very good from factory anyway. And uh, with this head unit I've got in here, it's a more powerful one, the Pioneer one. So I've actually got these JVC 300 watt peak power speakers. These are a direct fit apparently for the Vauxhall Vivaro and the Traffics. And it does come with these speaker pods. So you must need these as well because this comes as the package. And you also do get your uh, wire connectors just so you haven't got to chop the end of the wire off and sold anything. So this should hopefully just plug into the plug that's already there and these should just fit onto the back of the speakers. So I've done a little bit of research on this. I believe we've got a few torque screws on here. We've got one behind here. There's one behind this plastic covering and there's a, a few just around the side here, maybe uh, six or eight. We'll get to that when we come to it. And as far as I'm led to believe, if this has got the original factory speakers in, which I think it will have, I believe these are actually riveted in the, the factory ones, so we might have to nip and get the drill and uh, just drill them rivets out and uh, maybe put some fresh screw holes in just for these because they probably won't line up. So you might need a drill for this uh, little job. And my screws on here are a T20, so I presume they're all going to be that all the way around. Hopefully they should be, make the job nice and simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get them screws off now i'll probably start off with this one and this one first and then we'll work around the van so let me just bring you in and show you so on this screw here there's actually a little cap here and you just want to get yourself a little electrical terminal screwdriver there's a little slot at the top and just push that back and that should come out then and it actually stays in there it's on like a little hinge so that torque screw looks a bit bigger than the and that screw in there is actually a T27 as well. So it looks like the outer ones could be T20s and the main two big ones that are pulling into the main door probably are T27. So I'm just going to whip this one out now. So that's that one out. And don't lose your screws, I should put them in the dashboard. And you could do with a trim kit here, really, but I've left, I can't farm my one. So I'll just come in from the top and just prise it from the top there. And there we go, that just pulls off like that. So I did work mine from the top there and then we just pull it along. And you have got an electrical cable in there. So you just pop your block off and then you can take that off there. And it's just a little, put your screwdriver in that little gap and you just turn it, push it, and that will spring off like that again. And as you can see, we've got another T27 just up there. And I believe these are the two main ones that will be holding the door panel on and then the rest just go round the edge. So I'm gonna to switch to the T20 now. As I say, you've got one just in there, look. So I'll get this one out and I'll just show you where the others are and I'll get on with them and then we'll come back to yeah, when we're going to pull this panel off. Right, so you've got the first one out that I've just took out there. Following the door panel down. There's nothing along there. Bit of rubbish out there. Uh, there's one there, so that's two. Another one there, so there's three. And then there's one at the top there. So there's only actually four T20 bolts around this whole panel. So in total there'll be six because you've got two there. You've got two T27s and then four t20s so i'm just going to get that off now right so that's all them screws are off we've got the middle one out there and this one that just comes loose and stays on there through the cable so we're not looking for this to come off that we'll just thread that through the door card so so also just remove this little piece here that's just on two clips and what you want to do is you want to start at the top and then you want to peel this up off of this window runner so we're off of that window runner now. And I've just noticed there's another T27 in the back there. So we have actually got three T27 bolts. There's one sat at the back right in there. So I'm just going to get that 
in there like that. Now it's easy to just miss them as you see, but some people would have thought they've got all them screws out and they'd be pulling away at that and that's when you do some damage. So if it has got a bit of resistance, just have another check round and see if there's anything there. So that's better now. You can just pull them off. And what you do tend to find is these clips that are on there do normally break. So you might need to get some replacement ones because uh, I say they do get a bit of brittle after a while. Right, so we just push that little white block through there. Push your handle through, and that's your door card fully off. I would mean I was lucky there, only one clip broke. So it doesn't look like anyone's been in here before because normally you can tell these have been tampered with if they've had problems in the past. Everything looks good and clean in here. As you can see, we have got the original like, paper speakers, and they are riveted in just as I expected. So what I'll do now is I'll just quickly nip out to the log cabin, get the drill, we'll drill these out, we'll go from there, because I think we might maybe have to do some new holes for the new ones, because I don't think uh, these ones will line up. But as you can see, these are in their own bracket, like that plate I've got. So let me just go get the drill, and uh, I'll be back with you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly disconnect this cable. Again, push the white tab in, and it just pulls out. And... Uh, so it's going to start drilling these out now. So that's one. Do this one. Two. I'll just do the final one. So that speaker should just pull out now. Just like that. There we go. And as I say, they're not very good. They're only paper, these speakers. So they don't really uh, give you a good sound quality. But they're all right for factory. So these are our, our new ones. And they have little lo lugs on there, so they must locate somewhere. Oh no, they just locate in the, there. So yeah, they just don't quite marry up with the old um, holes there. You can get two lined up. So you can get the bottom two lined up, but the top one don't line in. So what I might do is I'll just turn it slightly. We'll make some no, new holes and put some self-tappers in. So I'm just going to get myself some self-tappers and I'll be back with you. Right then, folks, so I've pre-drilled my new three little holes that I'm going with. So hopefully they all line up. Uh, There, there and there. And I've got myself some nice big heavy duty screws. So, we'll just get this one started first. Right, I won't fully send that home yet. We'll need to get the other two lined up first. Uh, So I'll just put them in now. So that is our bracket, fully solid now. And as for the speaker, um, obviously the connection had a, on the old speaker, as you can see the connection, connection was coming through this bracket here. And on this new one, it doesn't come there. So once you put your speaker in, you actually can't get to your wire to plug it in. So I've just noticed that. So there's a couple of options that you can do is you can either get your multi-tool and go through there, or I'm just wondering if I can just uh, pop this wire off of here. And I'm wondering if I could just drop it down this hole here, look, and run it behind this door here. And I don't think that should uh, 
affect anything because it's literally pulled right down the back here and there's nothing there that's all open that's not going to affect the window or nothing so i think that's the route i'm going to go down so i've just disconnected it from here and run it down here and my cable block should hopefully just uh clip in if it's all being well which it does so you could uh come through here but i don't want to do that i'm just going to uh come down this way and then all the wiring's tidy in the back of the door as well then so we've got our speaker here you can only put these on one way because they're two different sizes so the larger one is your positive which is red and just go gently with them because you don't want to snap them so just get your finger behind it and ease it on just like that and then the same again with your negative that just screws on a lot easier <clears throat> so i'm just going to put that down there out the way and you've got some little holes already pre-lined up on there so you can just put them in there like that obviously you don't matter about the speaker which way the, your writing is because uh, you're not going to see it once you've got your cover on you do get some uh, screws supplied so I'm just going to let that dangle a minute, stick it to the side of the car and just start putting these, a couple of these in because um, I can then slot the speaker over it so that will help me just get it started. So get that started in there. I'm happy with that now. So we can wind these two in, do a bit of at a time, and there we go. Don't over tighten them because you will strip it. And there you go, that's uh, solid now. I will just stick a couple more in just to. Uh, stop any rattle and again the last one and there we go that is fully fitted now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly turn the radio on right so I've just tested that that all works perfectly fine no issues there at all so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rebuild this door back up and uh, we're good to go then so I'll just get my door panel so again, you just want to get your door lock through there like that. And don't forget your cable for your uh, window. And then, right, so the best way I've found to put this back on is to hang it at the top first. So bring it in and over, sit it on the window ledge, and it'll fall down just between the rubber and the ledge. And then it will hang by itself. And then you just literally go round and tap it in. And then you can go round just sticking your four T20 screws back in. And you ain't got to go too mad with these and swing off them because they are only just screwing into a plastic uh, housing. Right, so all I've got to do now is stick my three T27s in. So I'll just grab them. We can push that back in now. So I'll put the first one in just at the top here. And last but not least, just the one behind the handle there. And there we go. Last one in there. These T27s, you just do want to knit them up a little bit tighter than this one because they're actually screwed into the door frame. And you've got to remember, you are pulling on these when you are shutting your door. So you do want to make sure they are nice and firmly in. So just put that in and you can stick your little trap door back on. We can stick our trim back on here. Again, just two poppers. That just wax on like that and then we finally can stick our window switch back on which the plug can only go in one way just like that and then you just want to just give that a tap on 
and that is everything done there. So just remember, just check everything works before you uh, put all your stuff away. I will check this window works. We know the speaker works, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to crack on with the other side. I won't film that. I'll come back to you once we've got both sides done and uh, we'll wrap it up from there. So let me just do that and I'll see you in a minute. Right folks, so that is the actual speakers both in and fitted now. I have tried it on the radio, works perfectly fine, not a problem at all there. It could benefit from a little bit more bass if I'm honest with you. Uh, but these ones do not distort at all like the other ones used to. So um, I may be looking at upgrading to uh, another speaker. You can get the little flat subwoofers that fit under the seats. So and maybe uh, fit one of them. I'm also thinking about running another pair of these into the back of the van because when we're out and about, the kids complain they can't hear the radio. So we have to turn it up really loud in the front just for them to be able to hear it in the back. So it might be a little video on coming on there where we install some uh, rear speakers in the back. And the way we'll probably go about that is we'll probably run the cable up this pillar here and then we'll just take it down the roof um, side of the roof lining and uh, decide where we're going to put our speakers if we do go down that far so quick little fast blast literally it took me less than 15 minutes to do that other side off of camera so yeah this this is a job that can be done within half an hour as long as you've got the right tools out here you need to drill obviously to drill your rivet out your uh, t20 and t27 pieces and that's all you need for this job and maybe a trim tool just to help you remove these plastics and getting the clips out as well but other than that it's simple straightforward job if you haven't already check out the um, playlist down below where we did a full build on this fan and uh, until next time we'll see you about mm -hmm.